Hello Internet, Internet. Big Dave here, and I am Chief. Sure. So I've been feeling a little bit under the weather this past week, and I thought an episode wasn't going to happen. And in fact, I didn't get anything recorded for this week. But lo and behold, what was once lost is now found. The lost episode from a couple of weeks ago has resurfaced. I found the audio file mislabeled in my audio directory, so I can now put video with audio and present to you what would have been episode 8 of the Vertical Drop Heroes series here as episode 11. So, after a trip to the lost and found... This is the Lost Episode. Hello Internet, it's Big Dave here, and it's time for more Vertical Drop Heroes HD. Let's take a look at our rogues gallery here and see who we're going to roll with this time. We have got Owl Muncher, Flame Tongue, and Gleam Walker. Gleam Walker. So, uh, so appropriate that he has both Iron Foot and Fire Walker traits available to him. So that is, uh, that's pretty cool. So Owl Muncher, let's take a look at him. He has uh, our Fast Strike and our Raise Dead, which is a trait that we purchased in the last episode. Cool. And he's got Greedy and Firewalker. Also, Greedy and Firewalker are on uh, Flame Tongue here. He's got Confusion and Fast Strike. I feel like we have to take Owl Muncher. Uh, he's got the most health. He's got the most top-end damage. Uh, and he's got a standard melee weapon, so we're not going to be dealing with anything like a speed decrease or any health penalty. So, uh, yeah, I think he's great all around. And Greedy, right now, is a slam dunk trait. It is a trait that I will absolutely take no matter what. If I see it on a guy, I am definitely going to be taking Greedy, hands down. So uh, here we go. We are off. And uh, what do we have to do here? We pretty much have nothing. Uh, let's just see a little info on Raise Dead. Uh, okay, so it's just giving you the same description that the, that the uh, merchant gave you. All right. Yeah, so summon some random skeletons. That sounds like that'll be a lot of fun. Uh, yeah, I think that's pretty much... Uh, yeah, I don't think we need to buy anything. I want to hang on to the money, see if any interesting traits pop up. If not, maybe next time uh, that we're back here, we might uh, purchase something. But for now, to combat. Rescue Imprisoned Heroes gain a small XP boost and temporary ally to fight by your side. Okay, so I didn't know that. I didn't know that rescuing the guys in the cages actually gives you uh, an XP boost. So uh, cool. Yeah, excellent. I guess I've just never you know, taken the time to pay attention. But uh, we talked about it in the last episode, the fact that uh, I do enjoy getting pacifist orbs, but that pacifist orbs are not going to be a key part of my strategy going forward right now that I'm going to actually work towards just triggering every single alarm and killing every single enemy that I can. And that is going to be my primary strategy uh, for the moment. So with Greedy, I don't feel any... Uh, I don't feel any hesitation to jump there and kill that guy because it means that the coin is going to come down and uh, float right on top of my head. And I like it that a lot. I like it a whole lot. All right, we're just going to make our way over here again, remembering to try and kill every single guy that we can. I bet you want three flowers, don't you? Well, I've got two of them. I might be back to see you in a minute, lady. I was hoping that would be our last flower, but indeed it is not. Uh, so if I do see a portal back up, that might be to our advantage. I can leave some of these enemies. There is, uh, yeah, there's the rose down there. So I could leave some of these enemies and just face them on the way back down. My second trip. Well, let's go ahead and uh, trigger alarms. There is usually, but not always, a portal back up at the top, at the bottom of a level. Uh, so that might happen. That might not happen. I guess I'm saying I can't count on that happening. Uh, we got two keys. I don't think we want to take a chance on that, especially since we already have the roses. You know, we don't we don't have to open those for any uh, any reason based on the level or anything like that. There we go. Uh, Shrine of Health. Five coins to gain three max X. Sure, why not? I mean, we're not doing anything else with those five coins. So, uh, yeah, and we do have a way back down or back up. Uh, so, you know, that's cool. I guess it worked out. Let's go ahead and raise the dead. Nice, a bunch of skeleton warriors. I like that a whole lot. Fast strike. That went pretty darn well. Pretty darn well. I don't have to fight these guys, do I? Okay, good. They're all... They're cool. They're cool. All right, so back up to the princess where we can pay her... Or where we can give her her gems and she can pay us with our reward. Totally didn't need to do that, but, you know, why not waste some time? 25 coins. You know, that's not a huge reward, but it's worth it, sure. 
25 coins is 25 coins, I guess. Maybe that'll be the difference between me getting a really cool trait uh, here in the next couple of minutes. Maybe it won't. I guess we'll see. Uh, Shrine of Restoration, I probably should restore on my way out here. Uh, not sure about the power of Ray's Dead, but I like the, the persistence. I like that those guys are still there when I came back down. Ah, uh, you're in for a surprise. Every single minion flies. Wow, that's the first time I've seen that. I like it. I like it. Oh, he's looks like a sadistic, demented Cupid there. All right. So we do lose our pacifist run right away. But this is... Yeah, I like this. I like the uh, every single minion flies. So, you know, when we're hitting on our high end, we're one-shotting these guys. When we're hitting on our low end, uh, we're not necessarily one-shotting them. So, you know, that is uh, not where we want to be. I, I say this every episode. I want to be in a place where uh, I can kill every enemy in one hit. Uh, yeah, let's raise dead. Sure. Just wreak a little havoc. Raise a little dead, you know. There we go. That's helpful. Yeah, they did a lot of work for me, so... I will consider that a success. Oh, we've got five keys. Why not? we got four keys. Why not? Lots of money. I like it. I like it. Uh, definitely not going in there. Two crates and a wizard. Uh, f mm. Yeah, I, I... Yeah. I'm gonna hold off on that one. Okay, good hits. Good hits there. I, yeah, I, I'm pretty happy with where we are. I would I would like to see those, you know, one, one hit kills, but uh, I'm pretty happy with where we are right now. I don't think I can really justify complaining too much. I certainly can complain. I just can't justify complaining. I am really good at complaining. You just try me sometime. Okay, didn't really want to go down here yet, but uh, made the mistake of doing so all the same. Uh, we will go ahead and hit that, and then we will raise dead. Just for fun. Is my raised, is my raised dead guy flying? I like that. <laughs> All right, let's uh, let's do a little fast strike. Oh, there's what I didn't I didn't fast strike anything. Oh no, I, I hit the wrong button. That would explain that, wouldn't it? Get in a few. Oops, triggered an alarm. You know what? It's not whoops. Whatever. I like triggering alarms. I do it all the time. All right, so that was relatively easy. Uh, we'll fast strike. Just get a few more kills here on the way out. We actually have a whole another shrine over here. Yep, good, good, good. Managed to get back up there with a quick fast strike. On spikes, always like that. That's good. It's a good way to do things. And we do have one more enemy we can kill down here, so you know, why not? 60 kills, 579 gold, 4 keys, level 8. We're looking pretty good. Fully charged. Everything seems to be just dandy. So let's go. Moving on. So good, no uh, no malady here, no uh, no disadvantage on this level. So we'll go ahead and uh, collect as many pacifist orbs as we can before triggering this alarm, where we will face some werewolves. Okay, lots and lots of damage being taken here. More werewolves. Uh, yeah, let's raise the dead. Why not? Why not? Yeah, they. Sh I was gonna say they. Sh some of them should fall down and uh, continue to do a little more. Five keys, sure. Knowing that we get a little XP for doing that, it certainly makes it uh, a lot more uh, a lot more attractive. So our thief, again, our thief, he just, he's worth so much. Uh, when, whoa, with lots and lots of guys over here. Uh, our thief is worth so much when we've got um, greedy because every single thing he drops is just gonna hone right in on us. So what do you have here? Okay, so uh, you want me to kill, uh, took out a fire imp, we can defeat three. Okay, so I've got to defeat three fire imps. Okay. Great. Thank you. Thank you. It can't just be, oh, I beat a fire imp, could you? No. Always have to do better than you, huh? I always have to try to one-up you. Sure. Crow. Hate that raven crow thing. Every single time, he always just goes right for my face. Even when he's confused and he's supposed to attack other people, he attacks me. Those guys are just killer. I hate them. Anyway, that's, you know, one down. Did that enemy trigger that alarm, or did I? Uh, yeah, let's uh, let's raise dead. Let do a little work up there. He might actually kill that. Nope, not quite. Okay. 
whatever. For once, the, uh, the, the raven didn't go towards me. Actually went to my uh, raised creature instead. Lots and lots of enemies. I'm feeling pretty good. Pretty good about where we are. Uh, I don't know that it's really worth my time to, to waste trying to kill that guy. Yeah, so we're just going to keep moving forward. Pretty good run here, you know, good first run. No complaints. Oh, hello. Okay, that's our boss. Uh, yeah, that is our boss for sure. Uh, we are absolutely out of raise dead. So, uh, fast strike? Sure, fast strike. Uh, yeah, well, we're pretty close to dying. Uh, yeah, okay, he fast striked on us. Then we fast striked on him. Fast struck. We, f we fast struck him. All right. Refill ourselves. Uh, you know what? No, we got this uh, thing here, so let's do that. Kill more and more and more and more enemies. How did you get away? How did I not hit you? Refill. Recharge our abilities, and let's get out of here. And we are on to level four, the Forsaken Tomb. Recovery, rapidly regenerate HP until your hero is back to full health. That sounds awesome. I gotta buy it. I gotta buy that. Gotta buy it. Okay. Ooh, okay. Three hitting. Three hitting now. So we're falling behind at this point. Uh, we are falling behind. We're two hitting most of these guys. That's fine. What would you like us to do, wizard? Okay, so you want my uh, you want the green potions? Okay, that's fine. I imagine one of them is down there. That's gonna suck. I have five keys. Why not? Let's just spend them all. Heck, why not? I mean, you know, wh what am I gonna do? Take them with me? Certainly not. Okay, there's one green potion. Thank you for that shield, wizard. And these guys are doing a little bit of work. Uh, not not too much. He freed another wizard, so I guess that's pretty good. Gave me access to that crate, you know, so... I guess this is proving to be a worthwhile endeavor. Gain two times... Oh. Start with 33% HP. So lose HP, but gain more coins. I'm going to hold off on that. I'm going to hold off on that. Uh, I just don't know if, I'm, if, my, if my current level and my build and whatnot... I don't know if it supports it yet. I don't know if my attack and my base life is quite high enough. Uh, so yeah, I'm just going to free more guys because why not? Uh, why not? And I'm going to raise dead twice because again, why not? And uh, these guys are just doing my bidding. I'm just absolutely overtaking him with the <laughs> lots and lots of NPCs. I'll go in for the final hit, you know, get all the glory. Nice, nice. So I did leave my restoration shrine up there. What shrine is this? Uh, ice bolts. No, thank you. Well, I mean, not just no, thank you. It's useless at this point, so. All right, here we go. Goblin mech. All right, might this be the first time we actually put up a good fight against the goblin mech? Uh, I kind of doubt it. <laughs> I kind of doubt it. Uh, but we're going to try, right? We're going to try. We're probably going to hit this alarm. Hey, we didn't. And then we did on purpose, but, you know. Wow, okay. That was that was rough, but I needed that level up. I needed that level up really badly. Uh, so, you know, it was worth it. In one sense, I guess. Okay, I believe that little rune just gives you a bunch of XP. Uh, I wasn't actually looking at my XP at the moment to see. I wonder, did these, did these little flying rats just persist? I mean, do I essentially have to kill them? Unlike the other enemies that'll sort of stay on their platform because uh, there were so many of these sort of ganged up at the end of the last level. I wonder if not killing them is actually uh, doing me more harm than good. There we go. All right, fast strike. Sure, why not? Get a key. It doesn't look like they're necessarily following me exactly, but I imagine that they, that they try to follow you. Uh, five keys. You know, I could just... I could just piece out the goblin mech and use my five keys to open the door at the end of the level. Ah, uh, I don't know. I don't know. 
So far, I haven't even been able to get close enough to, to the door to even unlock it in any of the previous times that I've uh, fought with a goblin mech, so I don't even know if it's possible. A magic missile. All right. Cast that at the darkness. Uh, let's see. I mean, it could be useful, but I... Yeah, three missiles. Each one's dealing 50% of my damage. Uh, yeah, I mean, it homes to enemies. Uh, okay. Yeah, I mean, you know, I, I, wanna, I want traits. Uh, I need traits. I want traits. So, you know. These flies, man. I just don't even have time to read this stuff. Okay, 25% chance of uh, killed enemies becoming skeletons. That sounds really cool, too. I just... I, ugh. Sure. I... Oh, and I got a weapon. A pickaxe. Cool. So 20 unlocks got me a pickaxe. I like that. A little more progression. I do remember that now from the, the first time I played the game. The more things you unlock, you hit milestones. Uh, they're in the uh, in the main uh, area down there at the bottom uh, of the uh, Temple of Restoration or whatever. There is a thing that tracks all your achievements. Okay, that was a timely level up there. There's no way to get down there. No. Very dark level. Very dark level. I usually do a little gamma correction on these because I know that these can be fairly dark. Uh, so I usually try to do a little bit of a treatment on them to make sure that uh, that they're a little more visible. What are you offering? Sandworms. Summon two sandworms that appear on both sides of the screen in an arc. Oh, devouring everything. This sounds so great. That sounds so great, but I don't even have the money this time, so I can't even do it. Uh, but yeah, let's go ahead and start opening more chests. And let's try to prepare ourselves for the goblin mech. Double raise dead. Yeah, double raise dead into fast strike. Uh, yeah, yeah, I fast strike into double raise dead, maybe. Okay, is there another, okay, thank you. I was going to say, is there another way down or is it requiring me to take damage? So we should be hitting the mech any second now, getting pretty close to the bottom of the level. I'm going to let this goblin come up to me. Uh, maybe he's not going to do that. Come on, goblin. There we go level up at a timely moment and uh, we are nearly there a ranger might be just what I need uh, just a little bit of fodder oh great an alarm whoops come at him from behind that rat is persistent and right, I'm fairly close to a level up very close to a level up so perhaps freeing this guy is what I need. Oh, nearly there now. All right, that kill should give me my level. And there's my goblin mech. Okay. All right. So let's just keep our senses about us. And we are going to raise dead, double raise dead. And we are going to hide over here and we're going to peace out. Oh, we were actually really close to killing him. We were really close to killing him. But uh, I panicked, basically. Uh, your haste will cause you harm. Uh, a bomb appears with each alarm. All right. So it was nice to make it make it past him for once, uh, and actually almost kill him. The raise dead strategy, uh, excuse me, along with the ranger, uh, actually did a, a pretty good job. But uh, yeah, now we're on to a spider hell here. Oh hey, we got our puppy. How did you get out here, you poor thing? Amongst all these killer spiders who probably just want to eat you. Oh, right, the, we, the, these guys. These are the guys, right? Yeah, these are the guys, the ones that killed me last time. So if I learned from my, my, my experience last time, these guys kill you if you touch them, or these guys do the damage that you do back to you. Oh, you know what? Was, if I, did I see that right? I think he did the damage to me that was equal to the number of kills that I had. And then I fell on spikes. If I hadn't fell, fallen on spikes, I would actually be alive right now. Wow. Okay, I'll have to go back and review the video on that one. But uh, yeah, so that's an interesting enemy that actually, it's an enemy that actually encourages you to have been doing pacifist runs. Because he does the damage to you, if, if, if this pans out, he does damage to you equal to the number of, of enemies that you kill. Because it, it flashed up the kill at the same time as it flashed up the damage, and it looked like they were the same number. Uh, but I'll have to review, I'll have to review it. That, that could be really cool 
but I don't want to give them uh, props just yet. And we're around 20 minutes, so I do think I'm going to go ahead and end things up here uh, because another run could take us uh, far too deep into the game. Really good run, single run here in this video. We made it pretty darn deep into the game, level six, and I think we're getting better and better each and every time. We're getting better at picking a good character, and we're getting better at actually playing the game itself. So I'm excited. I'm excited for more Vertical Drop Heroes HD. Stick with me. I know there aren't a whole lot of people watching this series, but I just love playing this game and I love evangelizing for this game. So I'm going to keep it up, whether it's uh, whether it's six people or 60 people watching or 600 people. Uh, I just don't care. Or 6,000 people or 60,000 people. Why? The sky's the limit, right? Yeah, I just don't care. I just love playing this game and I love learning about this game. And uh, I love the fact that uh, if at some point this game hits that uh, people might come looking for it to, and they might find my videos, but I also just love the, to play the game. So yeah, I think that's going to do it for us. This has been Vertical Drop Heroes HD. I have been Big Dave, and until next time, take it easy.